Well, let's just jump right into it, man. Uh, big fight coming up here on Saturday. But before we get talking about that, uh, you know, what have you been up to since the quarantine started? I, I know you moved camps. Is this what's been going on since we last saw you in January? Man, um, you know, I came back and uh, everything was good. I was a little sad that that I lost because I felt like it was my fight to lose. Uh, you know, I made too many mental errors, and you can't do that when you fight somebody as high level as Alexi Olenek. As you can see, you know, hold on, honey. Um, I'm with my daughter. I'm with my daughter there. So uh, it's really, really impromptu. But anyway, I uh, came back home and, um, you know, it's time to be dad, you know. So it, you get back to life. You, you feel like you're you're a star when you're in that moment. When you get back home, guess what? Dad still needs to be there. There's still things you need to do. So uh, I had a lot of family stuff going on, and I, and I wasn't able to make it out to uh, to um, Factory X. And, you know, we had some differences, and well, I'm not there no more, you know. We, we just made a decision that, that that wasn't a good place for me, and I knew Juan Adams and hit Juan Adams up. He talked to Coach Wink. I told him I got a lot of family stuff going on. I have to have my family with me. Uh, you know, or I can't come out there. And uh, Mike Winklejohn didn't even bat an eye, didn't even hesitate, got there. They took care of me. And, I mean, it was so good that after this fight, man, you know, everything goes how I see it in my head. You know, in about a month, we'll be permanent residents of Albuquerque, New Mexico. So, Well, congrats on that, man. It sounds like everything's working out well in the, uh, the gym. And, I guess what is it necessarily about Jackson's that you like so much? What, what, what's different there? What's uh, why does it fit the crochet boss's you know mo so well? Um, they strike how I like to strike. Um, you know, not to say that Factor X didn't. Their you know their coaches are amazing. Their coaches are you know their coaches are really good and um, they're I mean they're exceptional. But um, you know. Uh, I just like, you know, I, I like how I like how I've been getting coached so far. Um, and then the, the biggest thing is, you know, I got seven heavyweights. You know, I got seven heavyweights that I can train with, you know, right. seven legitimate heavyweights that I can train with. So um, how often are you able to sit in a room, right, with and have seven, seven other heavyweights besides yourself that you can work with? And we're talking Juan Adams is outside of camp, and we're talking about he's in he's in shape. He's not a fat, but we're talking about 305, 310, putting that weight on you every day, day in and day out. So, um, yeah, I, I have no lack of training partners. And uh, Mike Wigglejohn and Greg Jackson, when, when I'm with working with them, either as our group or several, they just – you get a fit, they're happy. They're happy, and they're happy to have me. They're happy to have my family. They're just happy. It's just a good place for me right now, man. It's a good place. Everybody's nice, no matter if it's an amateur all the way up to a John Jones, Holly Holm, Carlos Condon. Um, you know, it's just it, – it was cool. And it's time for me to get the hell out this cold, too. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And, and I know they have the uh, the Matt Leone program there that's got a lot of heavyweights, but you just mentioned John Jones. I want to ask you about him. Have you, have you got any sparring in with him? Is he a guy that you ever you ever uh, no, do that type of a thing man. with? Yeah. No, John, John's a very, very busy man. You know, he has a lot going on in his, uh, his personal life and then everything that he's trying to do with the CARE Project, which is amazing, and I'm a part of it. Um, but he's a busy man, and right now, you know, he's, he's focusing on John and doing what John needs to do, and I have what I need. Um, you know, it's all, it would always be nice to have John a part of it, right? I can learn a lot from John Jones, and I will be learning a lot from John Jones. Um, but, you know, aside from John, you know, I got between Juan Adams, Davion Franklin, Christian Edwards. Um, we got John. He, John used to – he was an NFL football player, and he's transitioned. So, that I mean, we're talking about these guys are big, strong, athletic guys um, at a high level. So, you know, I have everything I need. I, I have everything I need there. Um, and John is just, he's icing on the cake. You know, he's hes that extra added bonus of that um, that IQ, that MMA IQ that you kind of, who, who else is going to be able to see an IQ like that? 
So for sure. And did you know John at all before you went there? Or is this something that you just you just kind of met him training since you moved there? No, I didn't know John at all. And, uh, and you, you see him. a lot of stuff in the media about him. So how, how does that? How did your idea before going to Jackson Wink of John match up to what the reality was? You know what? I don't make. Uh, I'm. I'm I'm, I'm the wrong person to um, sit back and judge somebody for anything that they're currently doing or have done because um, I'm not an angel myself. So give me one minute, honey, okay? Um, I'm not an angel myself, so I'm in no position to judge somebody for what they've done. And um, so I really didn't have any – I had no expectation. You know, when I meet somebody, I make the – you know, I'm a set – uh, you know, what I think of him based off how we met, you know? So right uh, he was nothing but nice to me. Cordy was nice to my kids, my family. Um, yeah, man, he's, you know, everybody can have their own, what they say about him. I'll make my decision, you know, I, I'll make my determination on what, a, what type of person I think he is or anybody at that, for that matter, when I meet him. For sure, man. Much respect. I can't. Uh, you can't hate on that ideology. And uh, let's let's do a little hard pivot here to your fight coming up on Saturday. John Volante, a guy that's fought most of his career at light heavyweight, moving up to the, the big leagues, so to speak. Uh, what do you expect to see out of him in his light in his heavyweight debut coming up from two hundred five? Man, I just I said this on every, every 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 interview I do. I expect to see the best John Volante we've ever seen. And if I see anything less than the best, that's not on me. That's on him. You know, I know what I know what I'm bringing, and you know, I know he's game. I expect to see the best John Volante. If it's anything anything less than that, I'm okay with that, obviously. But do you uh, feel any extra? Oops, sorry to cut you off. Continue. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh no, I was just gonna say, uh, do you feel any extra added pressure fighting a guy that a lot of people associate as a light heavyweight, like? You know that he maybe has a little less to lose than you do. If he moves up and he loses to a heavyweight, eh. but for you, do you, do you kind of view it the opposite way, where you, you got to prove what a, being a heavyweight's all about and, and beat a guy that's fought at a smaller weight class? Um, you want me to be honest with you? No, I don't even think I don't, I don't even look that far into it. You know, uh, John Volante. John Volante used to play football with my brother in college, so him and my brother were college football teammates. He played linebacker. My brother played D tackle at Hofstra University. So he knows how to be a big guy, right? I know he knows how to carry that weight, and he's operated with that weight plus pads on, and he wrestled. So, you know, you could say, well, you beat a light heavyweight, whatever. He signed a contract, you know. Obvious, obviously, in his head, he's like, mm, I can beat that guy. So, um, no, there's no added, added pressure. It's a fight. Anything can happen in a fight. I've seen somebody 145 pounds knock somebody who's 250 out. It don't matter. Um, it probably takes a little more. Uh, but he's just as strong as us, you know. And like I said, you pay respect where respect's due. You know, I'm not here to be uh, be rude, you know. I'm just – I just – I know my abilities. I know what I'm capable of. And I don't feel like any fucking man is better than me. Even if they beat me, you're still not better than me. You're better than me that night. Uh, I'm a better athlete than you. So. And you say anything can happen. Nothing, in a... nothing, it has nothing to do, nothing personal. But I'll talk to you all the way up until we do the walkout. We get it cracking and be done and over it. I'll probably be a little butthurt, you know, you know, you're a little, a little sore when you lose, you know, nobody likes to lose. That's what we don't get in the sport to lose. But at the same time, and, but I, listen, I don't need to be mad at you to fuck you up and go feed my family. Let's put it that way. And you say anything can happen in a fight. What do you think happens on Saturday night? I get my hand raised. To be honest with you, that's everybody's like, well, what are you going to do? How is it going to happen? Are you going to knock him out? Like, Maurice, what are you going to do? You know, I'm going to get my hand raised. You know, my dad did. My dad told me something. Um, he was like, Maurice, he goes, um, he goes, you know, my last fight, you know, I'm trying to change my family's life. You know, I'm trying to change our life. I'm, I'm trying to have some of the things that I've never had when I was a child. I'm trying to buy a house. Um, you know, I want to make sure my kids can can do what they want and are put in a place to be successful. So, you know, my last fight, you know, I was thinking about how much money I could win. My dad goes, Maurice, let me just tell you something. 
And this whole time I've been thinking this and it's helped me. He goes, stop thinking about the money. He goes, listen, if you get a W, all of that will come. So like when people ask me, you know, how do you see this fight ending? I see it ending with me getting my hand raised. I guess we'll figure out how that's going to look Saturday night. Awesome, man. Well, I'm really looking forward to the fight and best of luck. And uh big thank you to your daughter for being such a good sport. If I were her age, I would have been crying the whole time. So appreciate oh, you both. Uh, water this whole time. Yeah, good stuff, man. Well, I appreciate both your times and good luck on Saturday, Maurice. Hey, thank you so much for the time. You have a wonderful day. Hey, you too. Bro, Take boss, care. we out, baby. You better make sure you tune in. It's going to be a firecracker. <laughs>